Hey YouTube, coming at you with a uh, synthesizer demo here. Um, this is a microcorg. What you're seeing here on the screen is the microcorg sound editor. Uh, let me play it. So what I'm talking about here is a, a lot of sounds from the, uh, particularly the 80s, kind of the new wave bands, that kind of thing. Uh, they use a thing with a, a synchronized oscillator. I'm going to cut it off. Uh, so this is a really cool program. Before I go into that, let me tell you a little bit about this program. It's called the MicroKorg Sound Editor. Uh, great, great piece of software. You can download it from the Korg website. If you got a MicroKorg, you definitely want to get this piece of software because it helps you uh, program all kinds of things on it without uh, going through all the dials on the front. Now, you can certainly do all the things with the MicroKorg without the software, but it's really helpful to have the software install it on your PC, hook up your uh, microcorg through the MIDI devices, make sure it's on channel 1 for the MIDI channel so everything communicates correctly, and uh, then you can program things. So you can see there's a, you can set the uh, uh, attack decay release, uh, sustain stuff here, you can control the oscillators, uh, the filters right here, amplification, LFOs, there's a tab here for the effects. Uh, like you can see here, there's a, uh, actually nothing's actually set in here except for the stereo delay. The flanger is set at zero, so nothing's going to happen there. And then you got an EQ that has a low and a high, and then if uh, using the arpeggio, you can set that there. So back to our sound here. So this is uh, one of these classic 1980 sounds. Uh, if you're a keyboard player in a band like I am, you're uh, trying to figure out how to play these tunes from from uh, cover cover bands, uh, so you can replicate that thing when you're playing live. So this one, so you can hear the oscillators. They are not synchronized. You can hear a lot of things going in and out of a, in that tune there. Let me cut that up a little bit so you can hear that a little better. So it's kind of like off on its own. So here's the thing that uh, is key with this, and you can do it in the keyboard itself, uh, but you want to sync the oscillators. So I'm going to play a real recognizable uh, tune. If, if you're playing any kind of 80s music, you're probably going to recognize it. So the key to that is syncing uh, those oscillators. If you look through my videos, you'll see I got another one where I'm showing you how to do this on uh, in Sonic SQ80. Uh, if you haven't guessed the tune already, it's by the Cars. It's called Let's Go. So it's. <laughs> So when you play that uh, through your PA system, that's usually how you're putting your keyboard through, you get that sound. And uh, you heard a lot of other 80s stuff, but the, the key to that is that uh, syncing of the oscillators. I'm going to take it out of that, and uh, we'll just put on the ring modulator so you can hear the kind of uh, not uh, really pleasing to the ear. Sort of like a B. Again, you want to synchronize that oscillator there. So if you sit there with this software, maybe you can take a screenshot of what I'm showing you here. And you can replicate the sound. I don't have all the settings in this YouTube video, but uh, you could certainly emulate it by copying everything that you see here on the screen. And you can get all kinds of classic uh, 1980s effects uh, and sounds from using this uh, if you program it in your microcorg as a preset. So good luck to you.